Okay, so the reason why this is so important, man, and I always tell people, it, it, Kartra, landing pages, whatever the heck you want to you want to call it, your email automation, your online calendar, it's really the most important when you're staying consistent with ads. Bottom line, because if if a person's not running Facebook ads, it's like shit. We don't need to be paying a hundred bucks a month for this stuff. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. only when someone's consistent with the ads that this is going to pay for itself. Well, yeah, well that, that's what uh, that's what I want to get because you know I mean I, I gotta increase. Uh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Generate some, generate some business, and and that's why I want to make oh. it happen. Yep, for sure, man, for sure. So let me look at these pages real quick. We'll look at the pages. We'll look at the email list. We'll test the funnel, um, and and we'll um, we'll make sure that the sequence is is in is in is in place, which is the email automation. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna look at the entire back end for you. That's what we're gonna do right now because it's gonna okay. allow us to really say, okay, do we spend time on this part or do we just go straight into making videos? Okay, so let's so that's the opt-in page, and then here is the actual thank you page, and these are really the only two pages. Um, actually, and then, and then the third one, the the call confirmed, because as people schedule an appointment, they have to land on, on your call confirmed page. So let me pull that one up as well, which is this one right here, call confirmed. Okay, so these are really the, the three most important pages. And then what we want to do with these pages as well, I'm pretty sure we already did it, but we'll, we'll double check. Um, but it's it's setting up a custom audience. It's making sure that we know who's landing on these pages. Okay, so this page needs to be updated because it, it, it's not really, it, it looked like you can look at it from right. Let me let me close out these windows. If you look at this page right here called confirm, you see the, the image of the pool, the house, the, the palm trees, right? But I don't think that image is really, is, is really there. I think it's just there because I shared the funnel with you. But as you open up the page, there, there's there's no there's no house in the background. So if anything, we'll just add an image. That's all. That's easy. But these are the three pages, man. So as as people land here, so what we have is we have our Facebook pixel tracking who lands here. That's the pixel tracking who lands on the on the landing page. As they click the ad, they come here. They're tracked. As they click on the button, and they opt in, they end up landing on this page. This page is also tracked. There's your pixel. And what we need to double check is if there's a if is if we set up a, a Facebook custom conversion on this, which it would it would tell me right here if if we did, but um, for some reason it's not showing me. I thought we did that part, but we'll we'll double check Facebook custom conversion. That that goes on this page, um, and that's just simply letting Facebook know in the settings, letting Facebook know that this is the most important page to get people to. Yes, and so when they when they see the ad, they click learn more, they come here. But the most important page is the second one, right? We need them to opt in. We need to capture the lead. They need to land here. So this is the most important page. So we need to tell it to Facebook, and that's a custom conversion. So again, normally I would see it down here, but but I only see the pixel. So we'll, we'll double check that. And then the call confirm page, the pixel is on this page as well. Um, there's no custom conversion on this page, but what we and there doesn't need to be. But what we want to make sure we want to double check is if we have this link set up as a custom audience. So not only does a custom conversion need to be set up on the second page, the thank you page after they opt in the custom conversion, but we also want to double check if this link is set up as a custom audience. So you got you have your custom conversion and then you have your custom audience. All three pages needs a custom audience because each page is a different type of person. Someone that only lands on the landing page, on the opt-in page, but does not opt in is a very different person versus someone who actually opted in and landed here. So when we set up custom audiences, we need to be able to track that. And so when you set up a custom audience, you're able to track who lands here, who lands on the opt-in page, who lands on the custom audience or the call confirm page. And the reason why the custom audience is so important is because especially with actually with all pages, but especially with, with the, with the second page, as that lead opts in and they land on the second page, we want these people to be in a custom audience because these are, this is an audience that you'll be able to exclude from seeing future ads, right? Cause if you're only targeting a local area, you don't want to keep running ads to people who already opted in. Yeah. 
So you got to be able to track that. And it's simple. It's custom audience. So we take this link, we set up a custom audience. The name of that audience is seller guide leads. Simple. Now, when we go run our next ad, we exclude that audience. We also want to do the same thing for those who scheduled an appointment. So anyone that's already scheduled an appointment, they don't need to keep seeing my ads. So I can put them in an audience, a custom audience, and name that audience appointments. And then I can, I can make sure that as I go and run future Facebook and Instagram ads, I can exclude that audience from seeing future ads, right? So, so that's as basic as it gets, but that's as important as it gets. Um, and that's what most people don't do. So we'll double check that on the Facebook ad site. On the, we'll look into the manager, but just on, on Karcher, keeping it just on Karcher for right now. Those are the three pages. So now as, as that person comes to the opt-in page and they enter their name and email, we want to get rid of this. I would like to receive future. I agree to the GDPR because that we don't need that. We're just marketing to a local area. So let me, let me update the settings for that. We don't need, we don't need that. We don't need people to check those boxes. Um, so we won't do mandatory and then that's, and then right here, the display, the banner, we don't need that one either. Okay. Save it. Okay, cool. So now as they go to the landing page and they opt in, we want to make sure that they land on the seller guide leads on the, on the lead list, I should say. So right here is the seller guide leads list. And then we have the, the, the prospect appointments. Perfect. Perfect. So this right here, those two lists are there. That's perfect. Now, what we'll do is we'll want to test it for sure to make sure the lead lands on there for sure. And then the sequence, your sequence is your automated emails. So now as that person comes to the landing page, they opt in, they hit the yellow button, they enter their name and email. So let's test this. Um, actually, that part, let me see. That part should not be showing anymore. Let's refresh this. Um, yeah, see, they're already off, but it might just be actually deactivate. There we go. Okay, cool. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So now as I save it, okay, so it's saved. Okay. So now as I refresh this page, they shouldn't have to check any boxes anymore. So there's that click this, there's no, no more boxes. See, so it just makes it cleaner and it makes it quicker for that person to opt in. They don't need to check anything. Enter name and email, click here to download now. And that's it. So now as I test it, so as I go, in fact, let me put my, let me put a, a, an email that actually works. So let's go plus, actually, I'll just, I'll just do it that way. Okay, cool. So click here to download. So they, they come, they opt in, click here to download now. They're then taken straight to the thank you page. On this thank you page, this is where you should have a simple video. Okay, simple video on your cell phone doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. But here are the four four points. So, so when it comes to the videos and you think you, you need to go out there and get five videos done, here's video number one. This video needs to happen now. You need to get this video done first before anything else. Here's the video. And here are the four bullet points. And you don't, you don't have to write this down because I'm, I'm recording it for you. Here are the four bullet points that you want to touch on, that you want to hit on on this short video. And this could be a 40 second video. It could be a 60 second video. It could be something short and sweet. Here, here, here's a way I would, here, here's how it sounds. The person lands here. Bullet point number one is thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this, right? So I'm just telling them, thank you. I'm letting them know, Hey, what to expect in this seller guide. We cover this, we cover that, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's number one. Thank you. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I'm with EXP Realty or whatever. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my background and my experience and why I'm so excited to help people sell real estate in the chapel or wherever the hell you're at, you know, city. So number two, I'm simply introducing myself. Little background. That's about it. Simple intro of, of me. Number two. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. Because now the email automation kicks in. So the moment that person opts in, yes, they land on a list. So we're going to be able to track it. So look, it just turned to number two. So my, my name went in there. That I'm the second one here. So not only does the lead land on the list, but automatically the sequence, the first email 
should have went out as well. So when I come over here to the sequence, I click on edit. These emails, I don't know if these emails are, are, are done yet. So this is where we'll probably have to focus, but let's double check. So, so going back to the video, bullet point number three, I'm telling them to check their email. So I would say something like, hey, guys, and by the way, check your email. I just emailed you your free seller guide. The title, the subject line is going to be your free 2021 seller guide or whatever the hell you want to name it, right? That's the subject line. So I would tell them number three, bullet point number three, I would say, hey, check your email because I just emailed it to you. The title of the email is, so that's bullet point number three. Bullet point number four in this video is I'm telling them, hey guys, and by the way, if you have questions, if you need to get some answers, if you guys are thinking about selling now, if you're in the market now, I'd love to talk to you. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time, which your calendar is not connected. So that this is where we got to spend, spend some time because this, this right here takes them straight to your calendar. So this is where I would, I would uh, not only are they seeing your, 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 your face, not only are they seeing you in the Facebook video ad, not only are you giving them, you know, some seller tips in the actual video ad, but the moment they click opt in, they're also seeing you again, right here on the thank you page. So automatically that's creating more credibility instantly. That credibility is, 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 is unlike anything you can imagine when people can keep seeing you in video form, it builds trust, it builds likability, and that person thinks that they can, they can, they want to do business with you because, because now you keep educating them and you're doing it in video. So when I see you in video again right here, this is that first chance, that first opportunity that you have to get that appointment. So number one, thank you. Number two, introducing myself. Number three, check your email. Number four, click the button below to schedule a call. I'd love to talk to you. That's the first opportunity we have for the call. Now, after that, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have, you're going to have some, let's just, let's just put it this way. Let's just call it, let's call it, let's call it two out of 10. Two out of 10 people that land here will schedule the call now, which are still phenomenal numbers. I'll take one out of 10. If I'm running traffic and running tons of people and hundreds of people are seeing my stuff, I'll take one out of 10. But let's just say two out of 10. Three out of 10 is, 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 is really, really good. But, but even two out of 10. Two out of 10 actually schedule a call right here. But the other eight don't. They downloaded your seller guide. They're interested, but they didn't schedule a call right away. That's why the email automation is so important. Because now, yes, everyone's going to get the first email immediately. That's with the link to download their seller guide. But what about after that? Email number two, two days later. Email number three. Two days later, email number four, email number five. These emails should be should be should be written, touching on talking about the seller guide. That's what these emails should be based on. Is 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 bringing back up the seller guide. So if I download the seller guide, I'm going to keep educating that person on that seller guide. And it's very simple, man. Like your seller guide, I would pull it out and just look at it. Page one, page two, page three. Start taking little things out of that seller guide that 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 you can talk about in the email, short form version. The seller guide is full, full, full version. That's the full book. That's the full seller guide. That's the full everything. But my emails could be the the, the short version of page three. For example, that's what I would do. That's what I would do on these emails is simply, hey, 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 John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know four days ago you downloaded my seller guide. Hey, have you got to page three? On page three, I'm talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that could bring to the overall price as you go to sell. Here's what I meant by it. So all I'm doing is taking a little bit out of, of what may be on page three, and I'm putting that in the email. But in the email, the reason why these emails, email automation is so important, because over here, only two out of 10 scheduled the call. Now, as these emails go out, this is where my next opportunity is at for that appointment. So in the email, yes, I'm bringing back up the seller guide. I'm touching about what's on page three. I'm talking about what's on page three, for example. But in each email, there's going to be a call to action. Hey, guys. Hey, John. And by the way, if you have questions, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So that's where the follow-up, 
that's where these emails. So as you come in here, email content, you click on the, the, the pencil to the right. And that's what allows you to come in here and put together this email. So this, none of this, none of this is done. Um, and so this, this is where we kind of got to spend our time real quick is, is on this back end. And this is, this is the time consuming part, but this is a one-time thing, man. Once I have this up, it's a machine. Like, I don't, I don't got to do this again. Like once I set up these emails, then they're, they're programmed. They go out every time someone opts in and each email is designed to talk about the seller guide, which is what they downloaded, what, what they're interested in. And each email will have a link. Like right here, I could put right here, instead of click here to watch my newest video, I could put click here, click here, click, click here to schedule your best time. And now I can simply put a link to my calendar. So my, my calendar, for example, here's my Karcher calendar. So I would simply grab the link and I would put it in right there. So now as that person clicks, it takes them straight to my calendar, right? So I could put a button there or I can just write it. You know, I could, I could just, I could just put it up here in the email, click here to schedule your best time. And as I put it there, I can just simply highlight it. What I would do is I would bold it. I would put this right here. I would, what I do is I just turn it blue and then I highlight it again and I just link it right here. Here's the little, the little link. So I link it, click that, paste in my calendar. And, and now they can click there to schedule their best time. So I can hyperlink it to a word or I can put a button. Um, and, and then the social media icons. Yeah, these are, these all need to be set up. So this right here, man, is, is kind of, is, is, is the back end part, the page, the email automation, and, 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 and that seller guide going out and, and making sure that these emails have, have, have a link to your calendar. So a lot of times, you know, when a, when a realtor will go out there and capture a lead, a lot of times they won't even, they'll start sending emails on other random stuff. And it's like, dude, I didn't even, I didn't even request that information. Like I'm on different list and I get different emails. I'm like, I, I inquired on a listing, but now you're sending me an email regarding what it takes to purchase. Like, or, or you're giving me a buyer tip for an FHA loan when, when it's like, it's that, that actually could go hand in hand, but, but, but you know what I mean? It's something where they're telling me something completely different. So in these emails, you want to just keep them the same. You want to, every email is talking about that seller guide. It's what they were interested in in the first place, right? And so now every email is, is designed to, to, to continue to educate them on what it takes to sell, but to get them to schedule a call, man, that's what it's all about. And so what I would do is I wouldn't just have one, two, three, four, five. I'd have, I mean, if it was me, I'd have 25. If it was me, I'd have 55, you know, so you don't have to put all these emails together right now. You know, you can just have a few emails, like here's five emails. This is fine for now. And then you can start running ads. But, but what I would do is I would really treat this seriously. And I would add five, maybe every, every week, you know, I put aside maybe, maybe two hours a week, maybe on a Sunday night or whatever. I put, I put aside two hours a week to come in here and put five more emails to the sequence. Okay. I want these emails to continue to go out until that person dies they unsubscribe or they freaking list with me. One okay. of those three are going to happen, man. One of those three are going to happen because what you don't want to happen is to, is for them to stop getting emails. Like you stopped at five, right? For example, like you don't want to stop at five. That person needs to keep hearing from you. They need to keep hearing from you. You know, and that's how you build that, that, that brand, man. And when you have all of this energy going to a local audience, that's when it becomes, that's when you take over. Right. If all this stuff was just randomly for social media, then then that's kind of just whatever. But if I can penetrate a local area and get nothing but tons of people in that local area next door to me to be seeing my emails and getting my information, that's powerful. That's why I would I would add way more emails. I want these emails to go on forever. Right. That's just me. But you don't got to again, you don't have to do all that right now. You can just add, you know, add some every week and, and put aside a little bit of time to add more. But but yeah, that's what needs to be done, man, is, is the emails, is the emails. So hey, done an exit. I exit that. And then um, and then and then over here, I, I can look at the lead. So look, that lead came in. Here's here's me. 
So that lead, that lead came in, I click on my name and then I can come over here and look at all the information. I can see what list they're on. I can see um, if there's been any communication, I can see what sequence they're on, which is your email automation. Um, I can see if they even opened the email. So, so as, as this stuff starts to track um, and see the, yeah, see, so all this stuff started to track. It doesn't show open email just yet, but, um, but it would, all that stuff tracks in real time. Um, so you have your pages, you have your email list, you have your email sequence. And then, and then my, in, in under my memberships over here should be your seller guide. So over here under files, there is your seller guide. So this seller guide, here's the link. This link is what should be in email number one. So this is the actual link, right? That's the link. If I were to click on it, it takes me straight to your seller guide where I can download my free copy. So there's 15 pages. So boom, there's 15 pages. There's 15 emails. You know, there's 30 emails really, you know, I, I would, I would actually, well, it's really just 13 pages because you have your cover photo, you have your table of contents. So 13 pages. So, so if it was me, man, I would, I would take a little bit out of these, out of each page and that becomes the email. I wouldn't rewrite the whole damn page in the email, not at all, but I would put like a, like a, like a few bullet points. Hey, Hey, Hey Jack on step two, man, on step two, I'm talking about how to prepare your home for the market. Did you, did you take a look at my four bullet points? Ask yourself, kitchen, living room, bedroom. Here's what I meant by it. And by the way, John, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So again, man, this may seem like a lot and, and, it, and, it, and it kind of is, but this is, this is what it is, man. This is, this is what no one does. No one's doing none of this shit. And that's why in your industry, man, I talk to, I, I, I talk to so many agents. It's not even funny, man. This is what I do all day, every day since 2016. No one has this back end put together, man. That's why no one captures leads. Like, and if they do capture a lead, okay, you capture the lead, but are you nurturing the lead? Are there emails going out to the lead at all? Is there, is there a link to get people to schedule a call with you? Right? There's none of that, man. And so you don't really want to half-ass it, meaning you don't want to have a, you know, you don't want to try to look for shortcuts. You want to kind of, you want to, you want to really take the time and, and, and I know time is everything. Time is money. I get it. But, but at the same time, this back end part needs to be done. And, and once it's done, it's done. You know, it, 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 uh, as I mentioned before, it becomes a machine and all you do is just feed the machine and, and that's it, man. And you feed the machine by staying consistent with, with, with Facebook ads that that's it. So this whole, and then, so, so, and then you got your calendar. So right here, my calendar, this calendar needs to be, needs to be set up. So if I get, get the link, I can get the link right here. So get Kartra hosted link or hosted page. Here is your calendar. So as they click on the, the link or the button, um, like this, this button on the thank you page, for example, here's the thank you page. Click here to schedule a call. It should take me straight to this calendar. Here is your calendar. So what I want to do real quick is let me just link it to the page. But, but at the same time, there still needs to be um, a video, a video done on that page. So if I come in, okay. I click on edit. <clears throat> And then um, all I would do is simply take that link. I could take the link or I can just, I can just link it in, inside the page <clears throat> without even taking the link. But let me, let me show you. So as I come to the thank you page, I'm now in the editing. I'm now you know, in, the, in the builder. I, mean, I can change everything, the color, the image, and the background. All this stuff can be changed. Um, but all I want to do is I want to hover over the yellow button, click on the pencil, and then, and then what I want to do is just simply link my calendar. So because the calendar is already internal, all I would do is click on link. I would come down here to link to a Kartra calendar, and I would choose my calendar. And then I would use an overlay pop-up. That's fine. I hit the green button, come up here to the right, save progress, publish live, that's what makes it live and then return to dashboard. That's how you exit the page. Those three clicks, save progress, publish live, 
return a dashboard. Now, if I go back to that thank you page, this page right here that I just updated, if I refresh it, now that person, they opt in, they land here, they see your video, they click the button below, and boom, there goes your calendar. You know, so, so, um, Right here in number two, find the email I just sent you. It is titled Your Road to Success Stellar Guide. So as you go into the into the builder, which is where I was just at, you can edit this. It can say something different. You know, you can write whatever the hell you want. Um, these icons, yeah, all these, it looks like all of these are are connected. I can see at the bottom, they're all um, yeah, they look like they're all customized. So those are those are fine. So they come here. Perfect. Perfect. So it links, it links them straight to your page. And that look that looks really, really good. Um, so it just comes down to, man, it comes down to making a video for the thank you page. That's what that's what needs to be done. A thank you video that goes on on this on this thank you page. Um, that should be done right away. And then the emails. The emails need to be need to be updated as well. Um, that's that's kind of where where I would spend some time, man. And then and then and then I would I would I would let's chat again. Like we got to definitely we definitely need, need to schedule another call like sooner than sooner than later. Um, okay. So work work on work on that for now. The 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 video, and then the emails. And again, the way you get to the email. So right here, my communication. And then over here, I go to sequences. And then there goes my... my David, David, can you double check that calendar? Yes. So if I... I don't think it's working. Okay, so if I... Well, I can click the button. That takes me to your calendar. And then um, I can... I can you notice it says August 2022. And, yeah, and it see, doesn't go to 2021. Yeah, see, all this, all that's what I'm saying, man. All this stuff needs to be updated, it all needs to be edited. So right here, click on edit. This goes into the actual calendar. Okay, and then right here, save and next. So all we're going to do is save in next, and then we go into schedule. So this schedule right here, strategy call, um, you can name this whatever you want. You can name it something completely different. Um, you got 40-minute duration. That's what we have down here. There's your name. And then right here is you have only this checked, August 22nd to August 31st, which is, which is already passed. So what I would do is I would just check everything. So you don't have to worry about the dates or anything. So if we just check everything and then the time, all these times, if that's when you want it available, it's totally up to you. But this calendar, you know, it's obviously based on, on your schedule. So all this could be changed in, in the green. But if I, if I do that, I update all that, the dates. And then down here, what I like to do on, the, on, the, on my calendar is I like to come over here to booking, maximum booking range. Right here, it's, it says no booking restrictions. That's why when it was only August, on the calendar, it showed me 2022 because there's no other date available and, and you don't have any any restrictions. It, it's allowing me to book whenever. But is it so, 2020 the year? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man. That's what I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm, show, I'm updating it for you right now. Okay. So, so rather than having no booking restrictions, what you want to do is only... And, and this is just me, like me personally in my business, I don't allow same day booking. You may, you may want it. Like, I don't like it. Like, I don't want to be with my son and all of a sudden someone schedules a call. No, no, no. You know what I mean? So, so I don't, I don't allow same day booking. It's always the next day. And then in me yeah. with my business, I only allow bookings within the next three days. That's just me. That's just me. You can do whatever you want. You can go next week. Days. What's that? Uh, seven days is fine for me. Yeah, do seven days. Perfect. So so now look what happens now. So as I come in, so let's see anything else need to be done. You can always book out, you can always block out a date as well, but we'll leave that, we'll leave that as is. So now as I save it, here's what happens now. 
So as I save it, now I come back to your calendar right here. It says, it says August, 2022. So if I refresh the calendar, here's what we see now. So I refresh the calendar. Now it's October, 2021, and it's only giving me availability until the, until the 13th. Okay. So now, now, now we're good. So now your calendar is, is really good. And, and really to tell you the truth, man, it's not just prospects. I would use this calendar for everything, for everything. Anyone coming through your world, anyone jumping into, into, your, into your real estate world comes through your Karcher calendar. And the reason for it, man, is in, in my professional opinion. Is that your ringer? You can answer. You need to answer? Go ahead and answer. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. So in my professional opinion, the reason why everyone should come to your Karcher calendar is because the moment someone comes here, it automatically puts them on a list. And let, oh, actually, okay. we, we got to have a list set up. We got to have a list. It, it, even, even if it's not part of the ads? Yes, even if it's not part of the ads. Yes. Like I, I still, in my, in my opinion, I would still make them be subscribed to a list. Because okay. that list, anyone that comes into my world, man, they're scheduling an appointment. They're landing on the call confirm page. And so it don't matter who they are or what or what type of an appointment, they're 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 going to be on 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 that list. Now, as they as they go to a buyer, as they go to a seller, as they as it, it might be a foreclosure or short sell, whatever, whatever type of lead that is, I can then start to segment them from there. So, but but if I can get them all on a list, that that's kind of what I want to do because I can I can I can always email that list. Right, I can always take that list, upload it to Facebook, and create an audience. So I would. I, so it's not seller guide prospects. It would be. It would be. A, it would be appointments. Straight out appointments. All my appointments. This is just what I would do. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just saying. Like, I would have everyone going through my Karcher calendar. So okay. So, so so that's the list that they're currently landing on, and we can always rename the list seller guide prospect. Like you can just always edit and rename it to whatever. Um, but but that that right there that's your link. So this right here is your actual calendar link. And so if I were you, I'd, I'd have it bookmarked, right? I'd have my bookmarked. If I were you, and 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 whoever wants to schedule a call, they can always go to your to your calendar. Um. So so that calendar looks like it's 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 updated. The calendar is good to go. Um. So really, man, really. So so in closing, our our call to action, what we should do is work on the video for the thank you page. So so this video, again, number one, thank you. Number two, introduce myself. Number three, check your email because I just emailed you your seller guide. The title of the email is, so whatever you want to title, it could be whatever you want, Like, but I'm saying that in bullet point number three. And then number four, click the button below. It'll take you, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So now as I click on it, it's going to show me October. So okay. I would work on that calendar. I mean, I would work on the video as soon as possible. And then what needs to be updated are these emails is the, is the sequence. So as I okay. go into the sequence, those emails, and again, you don't need 25 of them right now, but we need at least, at least, at least five of them, you know? So here's the sequence seller guide. I come over here. I click on the pencil. I click on edit. And that brings me into the actual builder, which allows me to now edit any email. So we can start it with, with, with the one that goes out immediately. This is the one we want to edit first. Um, the starting rule, click on this. This is simply telling the system, anyone who subscribes to this list, send them the next email. That's what the starting rule is. So, so that's what I, what we go off of is the actual, I can exit out and I can choose a different list. Anyone that lands on whatever list, send them the next email. So in this case, it's going to be, it's going to be seller guide leads list, click on add, save, and that's it. And so now this email goes out immediately. And then the next one, two days later, two days later, two days later, two days later. And then that's, that's all you have. Um, Set those ones up first, and then we can add more later. But the way you would do it is simply come in here, click on the three button, or hover over the three buttons, and then is that, is that under automation? 
Under under what? Uh, autom automation. Yes, the the sequence. So so okay. again, let me go back. So we're in my communications to the left. Okay. Communications, my communications. at the top. Sequences. So okay. that's right, right now. Sequences. This is my sequence. So I click on the pencil to go into it, to go into it and to now edit my emails or put together more emails. I now come into it. And so we just set the starting rule. Anyone who, who lands on that list, they get the next email. So right here, I want to hover over the three dots. I want to click on edit. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to change, change the, um, Actually, I just noticed that we need to change this email as well. This needs to be updated, which we'll do right now. But this communication, this is simply internally, this is sim simply something that you see. No one else sees this part, the, the communication. This is just a title. And so this title is what we see as we look at the dashboard. As we look at it from this view, I see that title. Open house email number two. Pricing your home email number three, negotiations. That's simply the title. What I do is I normally name the title whatever I'm going to name the subject line of the email. Because that makes me, that, that allows me to now just come in here and see what email is, is which one. Because it's named the same. That's the subject line of my email. Right. So right here, customizing custom marketing plan, email number one, that's not email number one. So, so what I would do is I would, I would name it, whatever I'm going to name the subject line. So in fact, let's just name it right now. What are we going to name the subject line? Oh, the subject line. Oh, well, the, first the, email, if, the first email that goes out. Here's, I guess, uh, Hey, whatever name, uh, here is the, the seller guy, uh, I don't remember the name of it. But. The, the, the seller guide. So so just the seller guide. So the seller guide, the home seller guide to success. So so why don't we name the email your home seller guide to success? Your home seller guide to success. Home seller's guide, or we'll put we'll put your home your home seller's guide to success. So here's what I'm saying. What I name the broadcast, okay? What I name the broadcast is what I also name the subject line of the email. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. So there is the new title under the communication. That's what I'm going to now see as I look at it from this view. So there it is there. Your home seller guide to success. As I hover over the three dots and come back into edit, I can now change the email. So now as I scroll down, I already, I already renamed it, so we're good there. I want to go into the email. That's email content. So I come over here to email content. I hit the pencil. This is what I want to update. So I want to come over here, and I'm going to name it the same. There's the same. Same on the communication title is the same as the subject line right there. Your home seller guide to success. So now on my video, on my thank you page, hey guys, and by the way, make sure you check your email. The title of the email is going to be your home seller guide to success. Sometimes it lands in spam. Sometimes it might land in your promotions folder, but make sure you look for the title, your home seller guide to success, right? So now I can say that in the video as I'm, you know, telling them what to do. So this is the first email. And as you come into the email, what you want to do is simply, is simply, this is the very first one. This is email number one. This is the one that goes out immediately. So what I would do is I would update this hover over the pencil. Now I can, I can, I can, I can change out this, your home seller guide to success. So I can, I can, I can, I can even X that out if I want. I can X this out. I can I can come over here to design templates and I can I can either choose in fact let me just do that Let, let's x out of all this stuff right here other than we want to keep actually we want to keep the bottom the social media icons but here's what I can do I can come over here to the left I click on design templates I can go to full templates 
and I can use any of these templates that Kartra already has available. So any of these templates, I can grab the whole thing and just slide it over. So any of these different, there's so many of them, I can use any of them. And, and so like, for example, this one with a bunch of images, like I can click, drag it over, right where it says drop your block, that's where I can drop it. So I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm holding the click, I drop the block, and now I have this entire email design already there. So now all I got to do is simply just hover over everything and just edit and add my Facebook icon over the Twitter edit, add my Twitter icon. I can hover over the, the, the email, click on the pencil, add my email. So I could just go off the template. If I want to, I can even, I can even delete different parts of, of the template that I don't want. So if I didn't want, you know, this bottom part, I can exit out and there goes the bottom part gone. If I didn't want, you know, this, this, this phone right here, or if I didn't want the social media icon, or let's just say, let's just say this bottom one, if I don't want the bottom one, I can X that out. Now I can just use these, these ones. So I can either, I can either use a full template that's already, already there for me. And I just work off of it, or I can start designing my own headline text button images. I can grab an image, pull it over drop the image block and there goes an image of a house like i can I, I mean but what i would do man is i wouldn't get too caught up in all this shit this is a lot of shit man like i wouldn't really make it look all crazy pretty like i would just grab whatever template work off of that and then here's what you want to do whenever you finish that that email what i would do is i would save as template so right here save as template and so now that template is saved and I can just use it for email number two and on. So look, for example, let's say this was email number two. I, I can X out of everything. Let's say this is email number two. Now we're working on email number two. I'm going to X out everything. Everything is gone. Now I can go to my templates. There's the one I saved. I can click, drag it over, and drop it. Now this is email number two. Now I'm talking about email number two. And it just saves me a bunch of time. I can come over here, change out the image if I want. I can come over here. Um, I don't need to change out any of this. This is all saved, saved, saved from my template. The copyrights that says Euler, right? It's all saved. So you can do that, man, or, or you can just X out and then save save this as a template. But but with my emails, I, I, I keep them pretty basic. Like I don't... I don't have them look all crazy pretty like like anything. I just have a basic template, but I but I use that one over and over and over because it saves me a bunch of time on having to link everything every time or having to put my information every time on every damn email, right? Like it saves a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. So so this email part, man, this is kind of this is kind of where 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 you'd have to be is 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 get that video done, the thank you video. And then these emails. So I don't know if that's gonna if if, if that's gonna be way too much for you the emails and if, if you need help with that part or what man. But yeah, I, 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 I think uh, I'm gonna do the video. Uh, let me just do the thank you video, right? And or you want me yes. to do the other ones too? Yes, the the thank you video, and and then and then and then not even. I mean, you can start doing some some videos for the ad ads if you want for sure. But this this back end part is is the most important. These emails okay. need to be need to be set up. They need to be ready so, to go. So I'll work on the on the thank you video, uh, and then uh, I'll start working on on the emails. Uh, yes, uh, just, the emails. I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it simple, uh, yes. just to. Yes, that's and it. then uh, we'll see. And then and then again, just using this using the seller guide. You know, going off of a few a few bullet points from the seller guide and, and bringing that up and, and making that part of the email that would help you on, on what to say in the email. Okay. You know, um, and this, and this even makes great, 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 uh, a great source of information for your videos. Like if I was doing a seller guide video, you know, I would, I would, I would probably have a copy of this in my hand. 
Hey guys, and by the way, I put together a 2021 home seller's guide to success. In this in this seller guide on step one, I'm talking about this. Click learn more and you can download your free copy now. So I can even use this as a prop. I can even use this as, as something in my video, holding it and saying, hey guys, here's my seller guide. Go click learn more and go download a free copy now. Right? So you can get creative with it, um, but keep it simple too, man. Keep it simple. Have fun with it. And, 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 and we got to just get this back in this back end part done. What needs to be changed real quick. So as I just exited that email, as I just got out of that email, I can now go to the next email, click on edit, and now go into, into the, the settings of it. So if I click on edit, what I want to do first is change out the communication. That's not the title of the email. Okay, so so that whatever, again, whatever the subject line of the email, I would normally name it right there in the communication. And then I would come down here to the email content, click on the pencil, and now that's going to allow me to come in here and change out the, the, the email. So again, if I wanted to just X out all of this stuff, remember on email number one, I made my template. Now from email number two and on, all I got to do is come in here, my templates, click, drag it over and drop it. And yeah, of course, I'm going to have to edit the text, but maybe the image, maybe that's an image of you. Maybe this is the name of your business, right? Whatever. Like you can, you can update this, your logo. You can make it however the hell you want. Take it all out if you want. But the template is, is something you can work off of for every email. Again, it just saves you a ton of time. So once I'm done, then I'm going to come over here, click the green one. I'm going to change out the, the, the subject line. I'm going to come over here, click on edit. That's what saves it. And that's what brings me back to the settings of it. And then I simply close it. So there, there's that. Now I'm back here on the on the settings part of it. I hit close, and that was email number two. Now I go to email number three, and the same thing. That's it. And then when I'm done with everything, then I hit done and exit. I have to make sure I always hit done and, done and exit, and I'm back over here. That's it. So okay. one thing that needs to be updated real quick, though, is the um is the email. Is the email. I noticed on the email sequence you're you're using Kartra's email. We we, we got to change that. So do you have a, a not your Gmail? Do you have a different business email? Do you have an actual well I I, I think I uh let me let me test it out real quick uh because I think I did uh hold on uh so to change the email we clicked on my integrations to the left we came over here and we're going to click on the Kartra mail. See, Kartra is, is the actual email provider. But when the emails go out, they come out, they, they're coming out from your email. And, and when they reply, if a lead were, were to reply to an email, for example, it's replying to your email. But Kartra is the is the Gmail, for example. So what we got to do is we got to just change out the email. So the send from email that these emails are coming from, and then the reply to email that they reply to, this is the same. So just give me that email, whatever the email is. It's, uh, let me see. Where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it? So it's, uh, it's just Euler P. Mm -hmm. And then it's, uh, um, Wesley Chapel is home. Dot com. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Okay. So that that's the send from the emails in the sequence automatically go out from that email. And then again, they can reply to that one. So this right here, this Gmail, we can always test it and, and, and you should have you or you should be receiving a, a, an actual email. So we click on edit. So now that email is configured and that's where, that's where, um, all those emails will start coming from in the, in the sequence. Okay. So, so that's pretty much it, man, is, is the pages are pretty, are pretty much ready to go. Um, what, what I want to do real quick is, is add, let me just add this image to the background of this call confirm page. So knock out the thank you video, get, get that done. The thank you video, get, get done a, a handful of these emails and then, and then, and then our next call is to, is to, is to obviously I'll check everything for you, 
but then but then also what we got what we want to test is okay so for some reason whatever reason that image isn't showing up when i when i when i pull it up on my end but it's there so it should be fine but our next call we'll, we'll test and just make sure that all the pages are set up for custom audiences and, and custom conversions okay which which um which i'm pretty sure they are that's something we did in the very very beginning so they should still be they should be fine they should be fine so thank you video emails and then and then and then we'll start working on on actual video ads and and that's it man and then we're, we'll be ready to go so I'll, so so I'll work on the thank you video and then I'll, I'll try to do at least uh, five to ten emails perfect well there's five there just even if you just got five done man that that's perfect there's five where there, there's already five in the sequence right so there's already five there all you got to do is go into each one and edit but there, there's oh, okay. already a layout of five so even if you had five ready to go you know that's that's a good start okay sounds good Okay. And then you have my calendar, man. So let's chat. And, and I'll, again, message me if you need, if you need any help with any of that and I'll help you. As well. Yeah. Uh, just uh, send me the, the, the video that yeah, way I can. Sure. Uh, also, sure. if, you, if you have like uh, some email templates, uh, that way I can just go and uh, edit them and then just copy and paste if it's possible. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'll, I'll send some templates for you as well. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to ask you, not right now, right? But if I ever want to, um, let's say, also run ads for buyers or whatever, mm -hmm. can I just uh, clone oh, these, yeah. uh, these yeah. landing pages and then just change everything? Oh, yeah, man. That's what makes it so easy is that, yes, as you, as you really start to build this out, this is the blueprint. The blueprint is the opt-in page and the thank you page. That's it. I can now just click on the three the three dots clone and now that's a listing funnel or an open house funnel or a buyer guide funnel so 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 i have to do those four pages right clone those four pages i mean not not really the not really the 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 call confirmed that doesn't have to be cloned because that's one page for for all appointments okay um, the email sequence one not really you don't have to clone that really that that's that's just the email sequence one is when you start to put together more videos. So as I'm okay. showing you the email sequence, as those emails go out, if you really want to get, you know, take it to the next level, I would put a video in each one, but that's just, that's just way more time consuming. And, yeah, and that's yeah, what yeah. that page is for. So, okay. so you don't have to clone that right now, but it's really just the thank you page and the opt-in page that you can turn into anything else. But I already ha I have a listing funnel for you. I have a I have an open house funnel already done for you. Um, I don't have a buyer guide one, but I have a buyer's list. So and it's and it's yeah, uh, buy, buyer list will be fine. So if you can yeah, just add them, then I'll, I'll I'll work on it. Perfect, myself, man. Sounds good. Yeah, I can transfer those to your, to your to your account real quick. So yeah, man, we can start running different ads. But I always want to want to teach focus on one, like get that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, we'll we'll get into everything else. Yeah, sounds good, buddy. Okay, buddy. Appreciate you, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Okay, Have a good one.